it really is the first big test of how our area agencies are going to be responding to some of that winter snowfall. And joining me right now is Kelsey Hoagland with ODOT District 2. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Jane. Thanks for having me. So we just have this giant pile of salt, so I'm not going to ignore it. What exactly is all of this going to be used for and how is it going to be used? Yeah, so behind us we have tons and tons of salt and we actually get this on hand very early in the season, as early as July and August for getting these deliveries of salt in preparation for winter. Um, but what we see here is actually a, a, a tons and tons of salt that we will go through throughout the season. So we're not expecting to necessarily use all of it this weekend, although I guess it's not impossible. Uh, but, you know, salt is our greatest countermeasure to the snow and ice that we see fall on the roadway. So definitely looking forward to using it many times this year. Yeah, and the snow and ice is really the enemy. And one thing you had mentioned is because we're going to be starting out with rain before the actual snowfall, you guys aren't able to pre-treat. Yeah, so typically pre-treating would be when we apply brine to the roadways. That's a salt and water combination. And we see those white stripes that are left on the roadway when you're traveling down. And that's applied to dry roadway. But with rain being the first uh, attack piece that we're getting of this storm, we are not able to effectively pre-treat because all those liquids would be just washed away. Same with salt. We can't put that down ahead of time because it'll just rinse off the roadway. So really, we are very focused on what we are going to be able to do with this storm, and that's going to be watch it and wait for those temperatures to drop, and that's when our attack plan will start. And black ice is definitely a big thing, especially during these storms, and they can be really dangerous, especially if you're driving and not taking your time. Absolutely. So black ice is something that we really, really don't think a lot about, especially when it's this early in the season. We've had an unseasonably warm fall coming into winter, so nobody's used to this. So having black ice be one of the elements of our one of our earliest first storms is very dangerous, especially with holiday weekend. None of us are thinking about what's actually the task in front of us, which is driving our cars. So we're definitely encouraging people, please drive slowly. Please pretend that everything that you see out there is actually just a sheet of ice, because while it may not be, maybe we are already have gotten rock salt out, we need to be prepared for dangerous conditions. For sure, and one misconception that people often have on who to blame when one street doesn't look well, ODOT covers mainly interstates, and there's definitely a difference between the area agencies. Absolutely. Thanks, Jaden. That's a great question. So that is really important to remember. ODOT stays focused on interstate, state routes, and U.S. routes. So I-475, I-280, I-75, yes, that's our bread and butter. You're going to see a lot of our trucks out in this area. Um, but there are local municipalities who help us with the residential roads. So if you live actually in a neighborhood, whatever your municipality is, is likely who is responsible for plowing your roads. And you also mentioned Lucas County Engineer's Office. They play a huge role in snow and yes. ice fighting as well. They are actually in more of the rural areas, but still focus on Lucas County. So we all three work together, whether it be municipality, Lucas County Engineer's Office or ODOT, work together to make sure the roads are safe. And teamwork makes the dream work, definitely. And for sure, people are going to have to stay tuned to your social media for updates. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what we really want to hammer out, and then you're going to see a lot of this on our social media, is just remember, this storm is going to start with rain. Everything is going to be all honky-dory, and everything's going to be great because it's just going to be raining. But then the temperatures are going to drop dramatically and quickly, and that's what calls for unexpected conditions. So keep in mind for that, wind plays a whole nother element. Wind blows snow and creates also icy conditions on the roadway. So yes, we encourage people definitely to watch our social media, watch our weather partners. Our weather partners are going to be so important in telling us what to expect, what's happening right at this very moment, and what's coming in the coming hours. So it's really, really important to stay focused on all those different messages yes. while enjoying the holidays. And it's like everything's going to be great until it's not. So I guess this is definitely going to be the kickoff of what's going to hopefully not be a long winter. But for now, I'm Jaden Jefferson. Mm -hmm.